Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Delta Force Land Warrior as I think we start with the main campaign. Um, Gatekeeper, yeah, yeah, we finished all the uh, quick missions, so today we enter the big leagues. A situation has arisen in Egypt that requires an immediate deployment. A terrorist group calling itself the Armed People's Front has taken a tour group hostage and is asking for a ransom to be paid within 48 hours. The APF is an isolationist group that objects to US and NATO involvement in Middle Eastern affairs. They are a marginal player in world terrorism and we believe this to be a ploy to gain funds and recognition for their cause. Gas can. Black Widow will insert you southeast of Objective Griffin. Clear both the interior and exterior of the structure before proceeding west to Objective King. While we have satellite coverage to help locate the terrorists, intel is unclear how many hostages are being held. Check your targets before firing. Once the terrorists are neutralized and the hostages are secure, rendezvous with Black Widow for extraction. The Egyptian government does not want a repeat of the Luxor incident that left 58 tourists dead, so make sure you do this one by the book. Yeah, because the tourism might suffer, but... <laughs> their concern probably is for that more so than their lives. So, um, but our concern is for their lives, so we'll make sure that, uh, that they get out. As far as gear goes, uh... Uh... I mean, honestly, none of these really make sense. Maybe the Claymore, uh, makes the most sense. But he, I, I'm not gonna place it down, probably, because I don't want it to, uh... I don't want a hostage to run over it. Uh, so we'll take that, you know, the Silence MP5 to potentially give us a little more, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, maybe a little bit of a surprise factor. Let's get in a few more shots. Like, I really wish I could just swap the explosives for more ammo for this, but, uh, Oh well, with that, I one thing I will say, after going through these quick missions, is I kind of miss being able to look at the map beforehand. You know, you're kind of forced to um, look at it in the start of a mission, and if the mission is time critical, that might uh, work against you, so. In any case, let's go in and save those hostages. Alright, so we got a fraction. No. Roger. Intel confirms the hostages are in the center pyramid. Sweep objective Griffin that proceed to secure the hostages. Roger that! Looks like it'll be a while. Uh, oh, wow. Looks like it'll be a little while, not like a huge while, but a little while before we'll actually. Oh, well, that must be the pyramid complex then? Or is this the. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, this, um, uh, I do know, because I've, I played with this a little bit a couple of years back, and, um, you know, the level for this is mostly under the pyramids. And I was reading up on it, apparently, like, this whole first mission is basically a showcase of what the new engine for the Delta Force games can do. In that, you know, uh, it can actually do interiors of buildings better, but not only that, it can also do um, underground, like, tunnel complexes and stuff. And you'll see that a lot with, uh, I think, th I think they decided to take advantage of that after the uh, 2001 invasion of Afghanistan, because they, like, every mission in that game, in uh, Task Force Dagger takes place in, like, a frickin' tunnel. Which, I mean, yeah, the Taliban did use a lot of tunnels. Be sure, but... Alright. Are they gonna come out anymore, or...? or are they underground? Oh, only one way to find out. Alright, let's set this to burst to try to save on ammo since we only have the two spare mags. This is King 6, 
Satellites show heavy activity around the Sphinx. Proceed with caution. Roger that! I feel like Gas Can is kind of the canon character for this because of, um... I think that he uses the same voice as, um... The, uh, standard Delta Force characters from... Or, uh, the Delta Force characters from, uh... Uh, 1 and 2, so... Yeah, it's not going to penetrate. Solid stone wall. But it has been here for God knows how long. So you never know. It could be old and crumbly. Old and crumbly. Crumbly like my muffins. Alright, so we got a ladder here. Let's pop up just for a little bit. See what, uh... Hello, Sphinx. How do you do? Random stone slab. Okay, this is actually really beautiful in my opinion. Itty. Oh, it doesn't look so beautiful when you get close in on it. It's a palm tree. But yeah, it it, it does look like uh, there was definitely care taken in this. I can't find the guy who fired the pot shot at us, so... There we go. Oh, it even makes a sound when you step onto the ladder, so that's a nice cue to let you know when you've successfully latched on. But, uh... I do have a thing for, uh, games set in, uh... Ancient environments like this. You know, we're here, we got the pyramids, uh... Buried in time is probably the reason for this, because, uh... Uh... Probably most memorably, their, uh... Chitznitsa um time zone and uh one i think once we finish this is king six head inside the sphinx and clear it out okay once we finish with um lost horizon 2 and kursk and oh hey loaded in high resolution texture but um yeah once we finish lost horizon 2 and uh the um uh, the curse game that Animation Arts also made, then I think we will uh, probably move on to the Journeyman Project series, because that, that is my absolute favorite series, and I would love to give it some time on the air. Although it's seen a bit of a resurgence in popularity. Like, it used to be so obscure, but um, I think ever since it, uh, they started bringing it back on GOG and um, Steam, it's seen a bit of a resurgence, especially I love how they brought, uh, uh what's it called, the, um, Pegasus Prime to uh, PC, because before it was only available on Mac OS and, uh, uh, like, Dreamcast, I think, or PlayStation? Something weird. Um, but... Yeah, they brought that to Steam and remastered it. You know, it, it's not the highest level graphics, but it's pretty cool. And uh, even more, even better, they... Uh... Where is the entrance? Am I a silly goose? But even better is... Um... They... Uh... Are you floating? No, it's just perspective. It kind of looks like it's floating, though. Where do I have to go up in here? But um, even better is, word is they're working on a remastered version of Buried in Time, which to me is like the best thing ever. <laughs> I loved Buried in Time as a kid. It, what kind of what started that? Blah, 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 can't talk. Um, it's basically what started me down uh, my path of loving history. Uh, that and. Um, and uh, 
very unprofessional, but I think I hit him. But uh, Buried in Time and Fighters Anthology are, well, back then it was just a USN of 97 for me. But I think those really started me on my path of, you know, being a history fan and uh, a military fan, as it were. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to walk. But I think... I don't know, I might have to brush up on my Egyptian Egyptian temple entrances. This is King Six, be advised. You have hostiles inbound from the northwest. Okay, that's fine. That's over that this way. That's Southwest. Okay, we'll clear these guys out. Head up the ramp into the center pyramid and find the hostages. We still gotta get. We still gotta get the hostages out of the Sphinx. Apparently, I don't know how to enter Sphinxes. Yeah, we have this whole complex down here. So let's check this out and see if this is an entrance. We're bound to find it eventually. <laughs> it's as long as they don't kill any hostages, but this is the first mission, so I imagine they'll be somewhat easygoing. And, uh, this lets us kind of clear out the, as much, like, by triggering that, you know, at least we can clear some stuff out before the hostages start getting any ideas. Or the terrorists, for that matter, more importantly. I don't want them shooting a hostage that we freed. Okay, I think, I, I must have to enter in, in the other temple then. Uh, one of those over there, maybe? Because there's certainly... There wasn't an entrance there. And there wasn't an entrance in the actual Sphinx. Although, I'm not sure if I looked at its butt. Maybe I should do that first. I mean... Amusingly enough, I could see the Egyptians doing that. Making its butt hold the door to the Sphinx. But... Uh, now we gotta get back up. Oh yeah, this episode might be a little longer than normal. Actually, it already feels longer than a lot of the uh, quick missions, so... If more of the campaign missions are like this, which I imagine they very well might be, because, you know, they... This, they did introduce save slots for this game. You get three permissions, so... Maybe it was because it, you know, they were supposed to be, you know, like 20, 30 minutes now on average. And, uh, you know, if you're at like the 25 minute mark in a 30 minute mission and then you, uh, you get killed or failed the objective, yeah, you'd be pretty peeved that you would lose 25 minutes of progress and have to do it all again. Alright, so let's run around this way. Let's try following my waypoints. Maybe my waypoints uh, will tell me where the door is. Oh, is it going to be like behind his paw or something or his leg? Okay, Bravo tells me... Ah, there it is. I'm actually a little disappointed now it's not in his butt. Go away. All right, go time. But um, but up, but up, but up, but up, but up. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, oh, 
That brick looks out of place. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that guy had a gun, and it looks... Get out of here. Alright, so... Okay, so he's got to be upstairs a bit. Like they're doing some, uh, all the scaffolding they must be doing. Okay. Alright, so, uh, we have a secret door that was already open. I was gonna say, that's right where your goddamn head should be. Munitions. Alright, and we got a group here. Oh, is that one separating from the group? Maybe the rest are hostages? This is King 6. Objective Griffin is clear. Move to Objective King. Roger that. No, no shoot! shoot. <sighs> Alright. Three terrorists secured here. That face. Oh, shoot! Okay. Well, they're, uh, they surrendered, so. Just make sure we're. Not walking into a trap here. So where does this lead out? Ah, not Sphinx, but apparently. So, get a life. All right, so on to our next objective. We're on our last magazine. Oh, cool! We got the extra bullet because we reloaded with a round in it. So that's a nice touch. And uh, for a game this old, that's actually uh, kind of revolutionary. So okay, so it looks like we got about a squad's worth of enemies, maybe about a dozen or so. And I imagine, oh, we're just gonna take the ramp down. Stay sharp, gas can. They technically have an advantage on these ramps since they can see my feet before I can see their heads. So that's what I'm doing there. I don't like the fact that you're like on top of me. Okay. Nope. I think I just heard a secret door. Ha! See where this leads. So yeah, they're really pulling out all the stops for this level. Alright, we're in a different part of the temple now. Okay, none of that's a door, apparently. Hi. No, no. Okay. Feeling we're gonna want to get down there, but first I want to look at what's over here. 
See if there's any more guards up here. Okay, one more burst. And we are empty, so... In order to maintain our silent advantage. I'll be right with you. Ooh, they've been beaten up pretty bad. Thank you. King Six, this is Gafcon. I found the hostages. Roger that. Black Widow is inbound. All right. So now we can get out of here and see if Black Widow actually does anything or not. If we can find our way out of here, that's the problem with these uh, these new. Oh, look. We would have never seen this otherwise. There's a ladder to the top. This should just bring us out. Okay. No paintings in this room, though. That's interesting. I guess, well, this room doesn't have guards or anything. This one does, but well, the stone statue guards at least, so maybe this is supposed to be uh, important, like a, a tomb or something, maybe? In any case, let's try to find our way the hell out of here. This is the one, probably the other improvement the game could use besides having the... uh have just followed the damn hostages. They would know their way out. Oh, nope, they don't either. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that's the, probably the one improvement I would, like, if I had to choose one thing from this game to improve, it would be better maps for, uh, the indoors. <laughs> or just having maps for the indoors period so I could know where I'm going. There we go. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, yay, we didn't die. And Black Widow is not here, so with that, let's uh, end the mission. Egyptian authorities have questioned the APF members that survived so, the Giza no assault. So, no debriefing, but, uh... That the attack on the Sphinx was staged... But we do, um, it looks like it does roll into the next mission, and it looks like they're linked for once, so. I mean, granted, the others were kind of linked, but it was like a series of five missions, whereas this is just campaign, really. I mean, it says campaigns, but considering it just throws you into one, I think it's safe to say there's really only one. But in any case, we have completed our first campaign mission, and, uh... It looks like Egyptian forces have interrogated the uh, three terrorists we took prisoner. And it looks like they'll get us our next target. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time. We'll see you then.